Hello, welcome to another flip through video. So this is a companion video to the flip through of yesterday where I was flipping through this particular tarot deck. So this is a book I picked up way after I picked up the deck I was flipping through yesterday. And this deck, or this book, should I say, is The Ultimate Guide to Rider Weight Tarot by Johannes Feibig and Evelyn Berger. And I'm just going to flip through, show you some of the contents in here. I won't do obviously a page by page flip through. I'm also going to try and avoid too much glare off the camera. It's actually difficult because this is printed on such nice paper. It's that, um, well I like it anyway, it's that nice sort of glossy paper that I've always associated with some of the more expensive um, academic books that I have that aren't you know, necessarily connected with this particular domain of knowledge, but uh, nonetheless I was associated with, um, you know, I've got another number of books on information sciences and some of the nicer ones, particularly the hardback ones, have this sort of shiny paper. And so we have this, the problem with this is if you have to film it, um, it, it does tend to uh, Get these reflections off the light source but I'll try and work around that. So the book um, goes through, how it goes through is interesting, let me see if I can really find that table of contents, yeah. So I suppose you could say it starts off with a very um, high up, you know, like a helicopter view down and starts off with very broad interpretations of cards and then as you work through the book it gets deeper so the knowledge gets wider and and deeper and so just to show you what that looks like so they've got their reasons for writing the book And then there's some general uses of the tarot they go through and some general rules for interpretation if, if you feel you need any. And yeah, some, some interesting tips as well, just to make you think again, with a lot of these things, I think you have to use your own guidance a lot of the time, but it's interesting to, to get this sort of view because as the, as the book goes through, you know, it starts off again with fairly broad interpretations. And then we get onto the bulk of the book. So each card gets a two page spread, starting off with the major arcana and then going through uh, and to the minor arcana so this two page spread you have the card as it appears in the Rider Waite deck with the lovely Pamela Coleman Smith artwork its basic meaning and then particular references if you're using it in a particular um, situation if you like and then you'll notice that all of this is numbered and then over on the other side the facing page we have a breakdown that relates to those numberings and it, it's re really interesting you know not only does it deal with the images themselves but it also talks about certain colors as well now I did notice um, with this the shades of 
of the colours um, differ often from my cards but obviously um, because of the way this is referenced it's easy to see what particular part they're referencing over here and I, I like the way they've done this this must have taken a lot of work to drop out the parts of the image that they're not talking about so yeah lovely lovely book and I found this useful where I was doing a sort of card of the day meditation I would often do a cursory just uh, sit there and think about without reading any of these interpretations what the card meant to me and then reflect on the interpretations in the book and then found or um, through that sort of discovery process really but just see if I got any deeper meaning or did it time with what I was thinking and how I was reflecting was it stuff I hadn't even noticed or did I completely I suppose disagree might be too strong a word but you know I'd come to a completely different interpretation and why had I done that and then through a principle of charity really is going through the alternate interpretation if indeed there was one and, and seeing where that might take me and what's nice here is that you know, with particular cards here like this one you know we've got A card where there's probably not as much detail and as many symbols as with the other cards and I like how you get these different perspectives as well perspectives and this happens in several places where they look at some different ways of interpreting this And so again, it, it opens up your mind to think about and reflect on things either you hadn't noticed or just stuff that was maybe hidden in plain sight. I can't help out to mention, I didn't want to spoil the... Um, the flip, the silent flip through of the cards when I got to Five of Cups, but um, always makes me think of, of uh, Dracula or Draclea as we used to say as kids Count Draclea yeah. and I'm sure for many people you know, when you see certain cards um, it may also think you think make you think of certain um, historical individuals or uh, popular culture references maybe I it's funny I find of all of the the cards if you were to say you know like which ones when I've read through the interpretations, I've seen new things or, um, you know, noticed things that were previously may have been in, hidden in plain sight. It's probably the sorts, I think. So then we get on to these various different spreads, which is really interesting. There's quite a lot in here. Um, And a whole load of stuff as well. And there's a bit of advertising at the back as well. So yeah, I thought you'd like that. Um, certainly doing this has made me want to flick through this again. And, uh, and yeah, certainly meditate on certain cards. 
So thanks once again for watching. Bye for now. And I will catch you in the next video.